All right, guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to do a very short demonstration of the iCarsoft Vos Vision 3.0 tool. We're in our Audi right now, and we're going to diagnose this traction control warning light and the ABS warning light. Um, the tool is suitable for Audi, VW, C8, Skoda, uh, Bentley vehicles, a few Bugattis and Lamborghinis as well, but don't rely on this tool for those particular manufacturers. Um, if you are interested in this tool, unfortunately, there are fakes, there are clones on the market, so you need to make sure you're getting a genuine and official tool. You can do that by clicking the link directly below this video. Uh, one of the links will take you to Diagnostic World, one of the links will take you to Amazon where you can uh, be assured that you're getting the official product, okay? Um, so with this tool, we've got it plugged into the diagnostic port and we're gonna click on to Diagnostics. Click on to Audi. Uh, you might see two versions here. Always click the higher version number. So this is version 32.11. one. And then you go to Vehicle Select, so this is an Audi Q5 that we're in. So we just need to scroll to Q5, and then it's a 2014 model. And we go Control Unit, make sure ignition is switched on. And we need to find the brake electronics. So we do that, and then we go to Read Fault Code. So it's giving us two faults, uh, Electrical Fault in Circuit, Rear Right ABS Wheel Speed Sensor. The second one is electronic parking brake control module. Now I know from experience that um, if there's a problem with the ABS sensor, it will also create a problem with the brake control unit. Um, so don't always assume that if you've got these two faults that you're getting a fault with the uh, the control module, the braking, the parking brake. It's generally a fault with the part, the ABS sensor. So in this case, it's the rear right as we're sitting in the vehicle. Uh, ABS sensor that needs to be changed out. The good news is these ABS sensors, they're only about 20 pounds. They're quite easy to change on a DIY level. Uh, so I'd recommend you giving that a go. But until that sensor is fixed, we can't then go in and go clear fault memory because the, you know, the, the ECU will recognize that the fault hasn't been fixed. I'll show you here. If we try and erase the fault codes. It's telling us a raise operation done. So as far as the tool is concerned, it's done its job, but obviously the warning lights are still there. That is because the fault is present and you can't trick the ECU. So if we go back into read fault code, no fault code found. I can guarantee that if I was to turn this off and then go back into it, scroll down try and read those faults again Q5 2014 control unit brake electronics read fault code and there we have those two fault codes reappearing so you can't trick the ECU into thinking that you've fixed the fault or you just by erasing the Fault codes, uh, you can change the uh, get rid of the warning lights because you can't, unfortunately. So um, that's the VOS version 3.0. It'll obviously it'll cover all of the systems like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, you name it. It'll also do a lot of service functions as well. Um, yeah, I want to exit that. So if we go to the service. Those are the service functions there. So that's the Vos version 3.0. Remember, if you are interested, make sure you use the link in the description below this video. You can either get it from Diagnostic World, who I would recommend, um, or you can get it from Amazon as well. Either way, the links in the description are gonna take you to the official and genuine product.